charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord and Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Would the children come forward to the Gospel story time? You shall not molest or oppress an alien, for you were once aliens yourself in the land of Egypt. You shall not wrong any widow or orphan. If ever you wrong them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry. My wrath will flare up and I will kill you with the sword. Then your own wives will be widows and your children orphans. If you lend money to one of your neighbors among my people, you shall not act like an extortioner toward him by demanding interest from him. If you take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, you shall return it to him before sunset. For this cloak of his is the only covering he has for his body. What else has he to sleep in? If he cries out to me, I will hear him, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. Thanks.
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what sort of people we were among you for your sake, and you became imitators of us and of the Lord, receiving the word in great affliction with joy from the Holy Spirit, so that you became a model for all the believers in Macedonia and in Achaia. For from you the word of the Lord has sounded forth, not only in Macedonia and in Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you, and how you turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to await his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord.
to pick a model, a model in which we can be disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, you might say that we should skip the intervening saints and go straight to Jesus. Very true. Because, of course, Jesus Christ is the one we ultimately <laughs> wish to model ourselves against, or for, or with. Yet, we find, as men and women living in the world, that there is often one particular disciple of Christ whose life, whose interests, whose, who is a particularly good model for us. <coughs> now we must then, then ask, how do we recognize such a model? By what criteria do we pick one out? After all, there are so many people in today's world that are being proclaimed as people we should model ourselves alongside. There are actors, athletes, politicians, celebrities. <coughs> not helping you pick any of them. <laughs> <coughs> Having skipped all those, let us look at who you should pick and how you should recognize them. Jesus Christ today in the Gospel gives us the key to recognize who is a good model to follow. He gives us those two great commandments. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, and with all your soul. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. If you look at someone to follow, Look to see how they live out those two great commandments. Do they truly love <coughs> the Lord? Do they devote their lives to our Lord Jesus Christ? Do they treat their fellow human beings as they wish to be, as they themselves would wish to be treated? can answer yes to those questions, you have indeed found a model to follow. Look down the sides of the church here, at the saints of God depicted in stained glass. Here are examples of models to follow, models that I would tell you have already been, oh how do I put this, pre-screened to answering yes those two questions. <coughs> I would say to you that you will not go wrong picking one of the saints of God to be a model to follow. But whatever you do, whomever you choose, make sure it is someone who can answer yes to those two great commandments. For we must recognize that if we ourselves do not pick a model who can answer yes, then we ourselves will fall short in answering those two questions. And as Jesus Christ says, those two commandments are the basis of everything. All of God's teachings, all of his commandments, everything, prophets, saints taught is founded on those two great commandments. We are short on those. We will be short elsewhere. That will not, well, quite frankly, that will not bode well for us for eternal life. For eternal life. But if we can answer yes to those questions at the end of our life, when we meet our Lord Jesus Christ, have we loved the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our soul, with all our mind? And have we treated our neighbor as ourselves? That we are confident that we will like the Lord's answer. <coughs> Come into my kingdom and take the place prepared for you. And there we pray we will meet not only the model that we ourselves chose, in our life around our 
life here on earth. We will be to rejoice in the presence of him, our Lord Jesus Christ, who is indeed the great model for all of us to follow. Amen. And together, let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, and the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life of the world to come. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray before our Heavenly Father all of our needs and our prayers. We pray for God's holy church as we proclaim Christ to the world by our love for each other and our neighbors. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that citizens of the world look out for and support one another, caring especially for refugees and migrants. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who labor tirelessly for the benefit of others, especially for those who work in shelters for people who are homeless. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are orphaned and widowed, and for all who are in need of compassion and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have recently been called to eternal life, especially Phil Kama. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our ailing brothers and sisters, including those on our bulletin prayer list who have asked for our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions of this Mass, Sam and Natalie Piazza and Sandy Crete. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear our prayers. We pray in the name of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. Amen.
resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and to all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my room, but only say the word that my soul shall be healed. Please join us for our First Communion song, Let Us All Remember. Sit 
Let us pray. <clears throat> May your sacraments, O oh Lord, we pray, perfect in us which lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. There are several announcements that need to be made. First, I wish to give a word of thanks to everyone who participated in, volunteered, and planned but this past Thursday's Trump retreats and golf. I didn't realize that I would have needed. I know that I would have been proclaiming the gospel standing right by the, the uh, speaker stand during the hallelujah. I would have put an earplug on this stuff. <laughs> but thank you very much for the music. Thank you very much for your enthusiasm. And I know that you wish to say a word. That's why we wear earplugs up here. <laughs> uh, thank you to Lee Bravo and the St. Joseph Rosary Sodality for having us here once again and of course Father Stephen thank you for having us we uh, so much appreciate coming back to St. Laborious for several years so thank you again Join us for our closing hymn, Joy, Joy, Joy. Thank you.